Welcome to the Webmaster E product series where I'll be reviewing any and all types of products in everyday life, uh, covering from audio and video to racing to all different types of things including salt water tanks, which brings us to today's topic of salt water tank accessories, specifically the XR15 Pro LED light mount kit and Apex Junior by Neptune Systems controller. I will be opening the box and checking out the actual product, kicking them around, seeing their durability and their manufacturing, and uh, also then installing the product. So stay tuned and uh, we'll get right after it. Okay, so here we go with the uh, RMS XR15 tank mount. This is what the, uh, the LED light is going to mount to above the fish tank. So uh, this was uh, something that definitely uh, enticed me to get this product. So we'll see how it is. All right, parts, some assembly required. Metal, metal. Seems, seems durable. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. All right, that's that. All right, we'll put these parts right here, see how this goes. All right, what else we got here? We'll go ahead with the uh, Radon XR15 W Pro, this little baby. Guess I should probably get a knife, right? Didn't really think this one through. Anyway, all right. Directions, I'm sure we'll use those. Let's see here, ooh, this is nice and shiny. Pretty sexy looking. All right, looks durable, looks nice, looks sleek. All right, extra parts, some more tools, power and uh, the USB. That's that. All right, Neptune Systems. The Apex Aqua Controller. I'll come back to each item and show a little bit of detail. Oops. All right. Security tape, excellent. Getting started, saving the reef one manual at a time. I'm sure we'll use that too. Ethernet. Looks like a probe. Please remove plastic film from display screen. Optional. Good to know. Good to know. This is the display screen. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Please remove plastic film from display. Optional. Very nice. Okay. And there's the probe. And the box. Okay. All right, what do we got here? We have the mounting system. Very nice, durable. Seems, uh, you know, the bolts are, you know, they seem pretty good. You know, sometimes you buy bolts, get bolts and they, uh, they're just made to be stripped out. This seems like it's durable. Uh, probably hold up to the salt if anything kicks up. It's uh, it's got a nice finish to it. Uh, uh, somewhat uh, somewhat impressive. It's uh, well, well built. Definitely well. A, a nice piece there. Another nice piece. Uh, looks uh, powder coated or whatever uh, type of finish is on it. But it's real smooth. Real nice. And uh, this uh, another. So it looks well well made. This is not uh, this is not uh, plastic or junk or something that's going to break. So they looks like they put some time into this. This part here is probably the most flimsy so far, but that's the part that hooks on. Probably, yep, there it is. Hooks on the top, so I'm sure it's going to be a little. It'll be all right. Slide in there, and then the LED itself. It's very. It's not much to it. Not much to it at all. But this little puppy puts out a bunch, I hear. So 
We'll see how that works. Very nice. Fan looks like a standard fan. It's on top. My other fan's on the side and it gets a lot of dust. And uh, that thing is very noisy. Hopefully this one will be a little bit more quiet. Uh, the controller, let's see what we got here. Definitely another durable piece. Definitely well made. You know, definitely uh, some good wire. Definitely some good wire there. So uh, looks uh, looks durable, mountable, and uh, breaker 15 amp. Uh, I think uh, that's very nice. And uh, the plastic Neptune system. So that's what we got out of the box. What I'm going to do next is uh, take off the old light, and uh, maybe I'll just chuck that down the street and see uh, see if that's the end of that one. Get these uh, bad boys up and running, and. Uh, Start to get that tank in some shape. Okay, what we're gonna do here is take off the old light, which was just a, uh, a mount on the top kind of light. So uh, we'll get after that. Okay, we got that off. You can see it's a, uh, it is definitely an older version, a current. It used to have moon lights. It was very nice. Uh, when I first got it, but you could see over the years it just it wore down the moon lights here actually uh, Stopped working probably in about year one or two uh, And that was that uh, I think it's a, a halogen is what they were they, they were like 65 bucks a pop and I burned through them I always had to clean the glass. It was very it's very cumbersome to work with uh, the sliding amount here was just uh, always breaking they both of them broke off so um, I mean, you know, it did its job, but uh, it's toast. It's gone. So, goodbye, sayonara. On to bigger, better things. So, I believe this is the first piece, the mounting piece, which uh, looks, you know, just basically spin it off, open it up. It looks like it has enough to get by on the mount uh, with the lip. So, uh, glad they took that into consideration, and it's not just for those... Uh, Fancy high-end, uh, you know, acrylic thing. So uh, with the, uh, what is it called, rimless tops, but uh, those are nice, but uh, I'm not there yet. All right. So as you can see, probably spin this off, see if it fits over it. Wow, that's impressive. Do I dare say that might have been the easiest thing I've ever installed on my fish tank? That is on there. That is pretty solid. Impressive. So they give you two mounts, basically, uh, depending on, the, and I did look in the directions for this, the, depending on how far out you want it to go, uh, either slider is going to be what's going to work. So uh, I haven't mocked this up yet, but I think it's going to be the smaller one. And uh, I do believe it is going to be a smaller one. So uh, I'm going to go back and attach the uh, LED to this, not over top of the uh, water. I could see it falling into it or something. I just don't want to even go down that route. So uh, I will uh, I'll install the LED one, two, three, four bolts on this bracket, and then uh, we'll get after that. Okay, so very simple. Basically, the uh, the brace goes right over top of the unit, 
So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it from the side. They make these little clips that go in so that you can route the, uh, the wire. So the controls are on the top. I'm going to mount it to the side. I'm going to mount it this way. Sort of, uh, all right, um, let's see, put the cord to the back. So it's probably a little backwards for me, but that's okay. We will route the cord to the back. So basically there's four screws, comes with it, comes with the Allen wrench, and uh, we'll just tighten them up and be done. But do take note, there is uh, six total screws and uh, four of them are on the bigger size. There's two of them that are smaller for the other part of the mounting bracket. I was one, uh, wondering why they weren't going in. So there are six little screws. Two are smaller than the other four. Okay, so like I said, the mounting bracket, depending on how far out you want it over the tank, will uh, slide in there pretty, pretty durably. And there's two uh, extra screws in there. And basically those are the smaller screws that go in there to lock it in place. I like the way this is built, it's very, it's durable, the screws do not strip or they're not cheap. You know, sometimes you uh, can't get a hold of them and they're just prone to strip. It looks like, you know, looks like I said, very durable. So, yep, that's a good one. All right, so from here, I'm just gonna put my lid on just, you know, can't be too careful. I'm gonna make any dumb mistakes here. All right, so from here, it just looks like it slides right over the top into the mounting bracket. And then uh, basically it looks like uh, we'll be tightening it with an Allen wrench. So let me go ahead and get that set up. There's also a small little rubber piece underneath it. So uh, basically that's for the uh, bolt that comes through, uh, I guess, you know, to look fancy or better, clean it up a little bit. Nice touch. All right, so. We're gonna mount this and then uh, we're gonna actually route the, uh, the cord. Uh, pretty nice touch here. Again, they have a little uh, rubber piece that basically helps mount the cord, you know, kind of tucked away. So there are these little clips that clip on and then they hold the uh, cord in place. So there you go, very nice. Put this on up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the, uh, the Allen wrench, the Allen bolt. Okay. That is on. That is now installed. Uh, the, so for the next step, basically, we're going to go ahead and connect the end of the cord to the uh, control, uh, to the uh, power cord. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to the apex. Yeah, I haven't done that yet, but I'm just going to plug it straight into the wall for now. I'm going to just get a little look at it. Wow, that is, that is bright. There's no doubt about that. So real quick, there's a couple different settings that you can do manually on the, on the, um, the light. So we'll cycle through a couple of them. I, I am not sure exactly which version they are yet, but uh, I'm going to hook this up to the Wi-Fi and get dialed in. But uh, evidently this button here, that's a... That's a deeper blue color. That's a very pale looking color. This is amazing. This is amazing. That's got a, a number of different tones. The rocks actually come out a little bit clear, uh, multicolored almost. 
That one wasn't much change. A little blue tint, a deeper blue tint, a very deep blue tint. And it continues. And it looks like we're back. So there's controls up and down also for light intensity. So I'm going to get in uh, dialed into the uh, Wi-Fi and uh, see what that's about. So if you don't have a Reef link, basically you have to set it up with a USB. So we have to run a USB cable up and over there So and also set up an account. So we're going to go ahead and get a cable set up and run it to my computer and uh, we'll take it from there. So to set it up, you have to plug in the USB and set up an EcoSmart Live account uh, through the internet and their website and then uh, register it and then you can dial in and access your uh, LED light from that. So what we're going to do is run a uh, USB from one of my computers to the light and uh, we're going to dial that in. So we're going to go ahead and sign up for the account and uh, get it going. Okay, now we have successfully installed the new LED light. I am very impressed with it. Uh, setup is fairly easy. You just need to plug in uh, your U to a USB. I used my laptop and uh, signed up for it uh, online. And basically it installed a small piece of software and then recognized the device and I was able to calibrate it, set it up. And actually they have a whole bunch of different programs with it where you can acclimate it. You can do a test um, demo version of it and then you can kind of tweak it in from there. So very impressive uh, the, with the build quality, the setup and the software that supports it. So the next piece of the puzzle is the uh, Apex Junior, which uh, is pretty much what is going to help control uh, a number of things uh, to start with. We're going to start to... Uh, uh, monitor the temperature. So very simple, they give you the probe here. Uh, it goes in there and then we, we calibrate it and basically has a, an old school uh, phone jack here. And it's going to go ahead and plug into the back of the Apex Junior. Pretty simple stuff. Boom, easy deal. And then the uh, aqua controller. So uh, from what I've understood so far, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can actually uh, set it up from this alone, or you can plug it into your computer through Ethernet or wireless. So uh, for this, uh, some of the details in the actual software, uh, turn to the pros. You just uh, go on YouTube and, and look for Bulk Reef Supply. Bulk Reef Supply, sorry. Uh, these guys know what they're doing, and they have tons of videos out there as far as uh, how to configure it online and do everything like that. So I just wanted to show you how it looks. Basically, another... USB plugged straight into the back of the controller and that completes it. Plug the items in into here and then there's one more uh, Ethernet if you want to run it back to a computer and install their software. So uh, very impressed with both products and uh, hope this helped you out. And